Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 42. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, we are here now for the Silverstone Class A Grand Prix. Um, we're going to be taking yet another RX-7. We just took one. We're going to take a slightly different one. This is the RE Amemia. It's one of the brands that's actually featured quite heavily in uh, the Gran Turismo series. So, pretty cool to see that car's in here. We've got 25 laps of Silverstone. Let's get cracking. Alright, here we go. So, we are apparently the second most powerful vehicle here, which is good to see. Hopefully, we can beat all those cars, though. I'm going to say this right now. This is a very beautiful looking car. So far, acceleration is not a strong suit. Neither is cornering. Neither is top speed. Alright, this is going to be a little more challenging than I expected. Not bad. Destination unknown. Okay, we're not doing too bad, actually. We just gotta be fully focused for this entire race. There we go. We're getting a little bit of distance. Go, not bad.
Not bad. Yeah, no, we lost a bit of time there, which is not great. bad. Yo, welcome back, Zeno. Apologies if I missed your messages in chat. Yeah, this song's in Need for Speed 2015. How I uh, found out about it. Pretty good tune, actually. Three laps down, and this is like non-stop pushing uh the name of the song should be in the top top right corner uh, i can't actually check but it should be on the on the actual uh, stream i think it's lose your level something yeah arrow chord surface is a tune How the hell have I overshot that? Draw. That Corvette is a lot faster than I expected, to be honest. Yeah, lose your love by kill the noise. That's it. Woof woof. Dogs are back at it again. Destination unknown. How the hell did that happen? Yeah, hey, no worries, you know. Good luck on a G7.
that's where we're gaining time. So the car's not actually faster on the straight. It's not faster in the corners. But it's faster in the braking zone because we put those upgraded brakes. So that way, as long as we're staying at the similar speed to the, the Corvette, we'll actually gain time eventually. This is a proper, like... Carlos Sainz, Max Verstappen kind of vibes here. Insane 1v1. Alarms going off down the road. Not bad. The gap between these cars is unbelievably small. Twenty seven per cent wire. Not bad. go it's definitely extremely challenging doing this race today Starting to get a little bit of a distance here. Yep. 
Yeah, look at that distance. That's good. Still got that distance as well. This is looking okay. Could be better. Definitely not a comfortable gap. Especially with how these uh, cars like to hop around the corners quite a lot. There we go. We're getting there. Just about. Now, one thing I'm hoping for is being able to pit on lap 13 and the AI car's not pitting yet. Because that means that AI is going to run on much worse tyres. Gives us a little chance to gain some distance without having to try too hard for it. I mean, to be fair, that was a really good line we took through that chicane there. close. Yo, Nugget, what's up? Welcome. Yeah, it's been a while since, uh, I think other than this series that I'm doing, the last time I properly played Motorsport 2 probably would have been when I was, like, 10. <laughs> so, a good 10 years ago. And even then, I didn't really play much of it. I think I played, like, a couple of hours. So it's definitely good to actually properly play this game. But yeah, our current progression is uh, 65%. The number that's actually on the title isn't quite true. Also, I'm in a weird position where I can't actually adjust my posture. So I <laughs> can't really do that posture check right now. I'll do it once we get on the uh, hangar straight. This time, not bad. Mm 
Wat doe jou? This is the old straight. There we go. I'm a little adjusted. I'll adjust the rest of my chair once. Okay, car behind me is catching up a little bit. But to be perfectly honest, I don't know what that's down to. There we go. Posture is checked. That is such a good corner. I love... I think it's Stowe. That corner. Not 100% sure though. Kaleidoscopes are turning in me. Bad. Corvette's catching up a little bit, and we're seeing a significant amount of rear tire wear, but we've still got two more laps to go. Now, that's obviously an AI car there that's gone into the pits, which, based on the fact that they've done 11 laps, can only add to an assumption that they're going to be going uh, till lap 22 and then having another pit stop. Now, the question is, I either want the car behind to go into the pits this lap that we're on now, and that gives me hope that potentially we could see them um, doing, what's it called? Two stops. That gives us a chance to pull off a one-stop strategy and make it work. However, if they don't do a two-stop and they do a one-stop but they pit now, it gives us a chance to try and push on those final few laps when their tyres start wearing out. We'll have that extra bit at the end. Or... They pit after us and we do the push earlier on on fresh rubber rather than worn out rubber towards the end, which actually would be the better option. So if you could either pit now or pit next lap, that'd be great. If you pit on the same lap as me, not as great. I'm actually curious what our tire wear levels are. There we go. Uh, so our rears are at 59, getting up to 60%. Uh, we got 51.4. Not bad. Uh, yeah, car behind is staying with us, so we just got to double check they're not pitting when we pit. And if I run into the pit lane and it does that same thing that happened on Maple Valley, I will be gutted. But then again, I don't think we'll be going as fast as we were on Maple Valley. So. Hmm. Fresh.
Mr. Gold Dust. How was that? From oh, I don't know. Name from what you're running from oh. Oh, there's a fly nearly flew into my eye then. Lovely. AI car has carried on, so that is good, but not good. We'll say it's good. Mm, that's lovely. Coke with some ice. Definitely very refreshing on this uh, 30 degrees Celsius day again. Honestly, it's been like 30 degrees Celsius for so many days. No, you can't get enough of my sound. The only thing is I'm pitting into traffic. I've definitely got to figure out how to buy that McLaren SLR and take it for one of these races. Because I think I'm highly tempted to actually take it for, um... Oh, actually, no. Eh. Maybe, who knows. I might take it for the S-Class event. You keep running and you're running and you're running and you're running away, 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 boy. You keep running and you're running and you're running and you're running away. Corvette's not gone into the pits yet. Which is kind of surprising, like... I genuinely think they're trying to run down their tyres rather than because they've got enough fuel. In which case it means the Corvette probably won't be pitting until lap 20, uh, 16 or 17. Yo, Jeffy, welcome back. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Porsche, move. Oh, wait, hang on, I'm in second. Oh, that Porsche's a bank marker. Uh, yeah, I'm still in second then. That genuinely confused me then. I'm doing good, Jeffy. Thank you very much for asking. Yeah, we're driving around uh, Silverstone in the RX-7 Ariamimia. I don't know how you say it. Basically a custom bodywork RX-7. It's beautiful, though. Beautiful car. Silverstone this year for Jap Fest. I didn't even know that was a thing. 
I know Silverstone likes to do their events, though. One of the events that I've been to was um, a Renault event. Where they had, like, the Renault Cup racing. They had some Renault Formula 1 cars and all sorts. I think this would have been about 10, 11 years ago now. I don't even think they were on the GP circuit yet. You can see car ahead. We are catching up. 17 seconds now. So we have been getting that gap smaller. That sounds like a really awesome thing to do, actually. I think actually if that AI car stays out for much longer, it's actually going to ruin its own race. Because it's going to be running on extremely worn out tyres. Yeah, look, 15.3 now. Can't tell if that's first place has just gone into the pit, so. That's not first place gone into the pits. This is going to be interesting, actually. So that car in front is definitely that Corvette. We can actually see the Corvette now. That's how much we've caught up. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. What are you gonna do without you? Marv, thank you so much for that raid. How are you today? Hopefully you are having a great day. Hopefully you had a great stream. Thank you very much for the raid, my dude. I'm doing all right, actually, yeah. I'm just uh, driving this Mazda. Yeah, halfway through FM2. So uh, not too bad. And that's the Corvette in the pits. And as the Corvette just pulls into its pit box, I have already stormed past it. Which means we're going to be looking at a very sizable gap between us and it. Now let's just hope we can hold that distance. But yeah, we're about 66% of the way through. Um, I'm hoping that within the next two weeks, two and a half weeks, we'll actually have finished this game. Um, 
yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot more to do, actually. Um, there's a majority of the endurance events we still have to do. Uh. Hey, no worries, Marv. No worries. Glad to hear that you had a good, good uh, stream, though. Catch you later, man. Catch you later. God, driving this car around this track is so challenging. I'm just keeping my eye out for a car behind timings. It is a very nice car. 12 seconds. All right, 12.8. We've got another 15 minutes of this race, so. Gotta try and keep it together. Whoa, what is my controller doing? Woo! Saved it. I think there was a little bit of interference between my headphones and my controller. Um, but it looks like the Corvette is still losing time. Oh yeah, definitely. Honestly, some of the Saturday cruises have been going really well lately. Um, so I'm extremely excited for those. And in all that wobble that we just had with the controller, we only lost 0 0.6 seconds. Which is impressive. Oh, is this that bad man rhythm? Inside the place. 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 Come with it. I remember when this came out. What the hell? Yeah, it's definitely something weird happening to my controller. Let's hope it's not going to impact us too much. Inside the place, place, come with it. Show me who's sick when I move. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be in German cars. We're going to be going down the highway quite a lot, though. The uh, Autobahn. As we're going to call it. So listen now. Right about now, for Badman Redum, inside the place, place. Yeah. Well, uh, if you're, obviously, if you're like me and don't fancy constantly shifting and stuff like that, you can always go flappy paddles. Especially with, like, German cars, a lot of the newer ones pretty much are all flappy paddle gearboxes and automatics and all that, so... Jump. Jump, jump. Right, so at this point, we're about 12.8, so... Fourteen point two. 
We're getting in time still. Driving with a clutch and gear stick is more fun. Yeah, I will agree with you on that. It is definitely more fun. Yeah, Prime Day ends today. So, any really good discounts are all going to disappear. But nothing on my Amazon wishlist actually had any Prime Day sales, so... You know, it was kind of a bit shit, you know. I was like, oh, maybe I could get like a cheaper Ryzen CPU or something like that for my PC. Nope. Nah. -uh. Not my luck today. I think that drink's empty now. Five more hours we just get and started. Come on, pour a little more. with you. Not bad. Hey, no worries, Jeffy. Thank you so much for stopping in. I should be for the next uh, two hours. Should still be streaming, so yeah. Eighteen point three seconds now. This right here is my type of party. Welcome new people, by the way. Hopefully you do enjoy it here. And if you do, feel free to drop a follow. Greatly appreciate every bit of support. We're trying to hit a thousand by the end of August, which would be awesome. bad Not bad.
Get off the grass. Here we go. I think we're going to be looking at just under 50 minutes, which is good. Jesus. Oh great, this is Sexy Bitch by Akon. <laughs> what a tune. Damn, who's a sexy bitch? <laughs> Compared to your neighborhood hall. Ah, oh, there's a fucking bug flying around again. Not bad. On to the final lap. We got a back marker up here. Yellow Ferrari. Is that that Porsche from earlier? Are we about to lap it for a second time? Flopping like a fish. I'm fighting with a Ferrari for a position that I already have. No! I was going to say, this is my, like, only endurance race so far that I've had no damage. I just absolutely smacked my front bumper up. Now it's got damage. The seeds of pomegranates in my hand. That's it. We got the win. Woo! Not bad. Uh, 1 minute 56.9 was our best time. 49 
minutes, 45 seconds. Looking good. Take my 212 grand. Thank you very much. We're now level 38. We got some Pagani supercars. And we got this Mazda is up to level 5. Cool it out. What rewards do we get? Number 7, Bentley Speed Day. I believe this is the Racing Green Le Mans car. Yeah, look at that. Look how much overhang there is in the before the wheel arches. Ridiculous. It looks awesome, though. Look at that. Handling 9.7. Rarity 10. Let's go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.